So my name is Casey Weiser, and uh, for my global health rotation as the last piece of fourth year, I went to rural South Africa. And the town I was in was Ubombo, South Africa, and the name of the hospital was Bethesda Hospital. It's a small rural government hospital. And while I was there, for three weeks, I had the privilege of working on a couple of different services in pediatrics and obstetrics. And I really loved my time in surgical obstetrics because uh, not only was it a great opportunity to become technically very hands-on and procedural in the surgeries, but also um, there were some really cool moments that I got to experience and share with my patients and with the surgical team. So one of the things that I particularly appreciated was in my first C-section there on my second week of, of the rotation, um, I had just scrubbed in and was preparing to start the surgery. Um, the patient had just been put under spinal anesthesia, which is when they put a, a needle in the back and they numb everything from the mid chest down. And the patient started to sing, which I thought was so remarkable and unusual. And within seconds, the anesthesiologist joined in with her and they were singing in harmony. And then a few seconds later, several of the nurses joined in. And for the next 45 minutes, the whole OR was just this musical special place. And I thought it was so unusual, so unique, and such a kind of magical way for a baby to be brought into the world. Um, and when I asked about it later, I asked some of my attendings, I said, you know, is this a Zulu tradition or something, a part of your culture or a tradition at this hospital? And they told me that it actually is something born out of the tradition of when they used to have one physician who would do the anesthesia and also the surgery. And in order to take care of mom and baby and track how they were doing, they would do the anesthesia for the mother and then ask her to sing through the course of the surgery. So that way, while they were doing the C-section to safely extract the baby, they could be listening for how the mother was doing. And if at any point in her song she would falter, they would know that they needed to pause what they were doing if safe and reassess how the mother was doing, make sure she was breathing appropriately and still had full control of her respiratory muscles. And while that scenario is daunting in and of itself, I also thought it was such a beautiful and elegant solution to a really complex problem of, of one physician trying to be in so many different places at once and such an elegant way to use all of your senses to be able to take care of a patient. Now that's no longer the case. They have a different physician for the anesthesia team and a different physician who's doing the surgery itself. Um, but they seem to have kept the tradition of the singing alive and I think it's almost for the magic of that space and of the operating room and the sense of community and welcoming the baby as much as it is for monitoring the mom and the place that it was born from. And so I think that's just a, a memory that stuck out to me and will be something that I'll hold on to and a piece of ubumbu that I'll take with me wherever I go.